The Sigma male test is actually quite simple, just follow these traits mentioned below and it if you can relate to more than half of them, there is no doubt, you are a Sigma man. But if that is not enough, answer these questions. If you have four or more positive answers you're a Sigma male archetype. Are you sick and tired of the alphas? I'm not saying that you're jealous of all those macho guys. After all, what is there to be jealous about? It's just that you're sick and tired of everyone being so fascinated with them. You despise the fact that they're so full of themselves and usually without much reason. You don't envy their position in society. Instead, you simply can't understand why would someone go through all that trouble just to climb up the social ladder. Do you despise social hierarchy? Naturally, you hate the concept of socio-sexual hierarchy, as well. Actually, even this classification into personality types bothers you. You don't care who is an alpha, a beta or a sigma. You don't care how people perceive you and the last thing you want is to be put in the box. You don't give a damn about your type of personality and you're probably doing this test out of pure curiosity, or someone made you do it to prove to you that you're a real sigma. Do you break the rules frequently? You're not some kind of an outlaw or a criminal but the truth is that following the rules is not exactly your thing. When you think about it, it has been like that ever since you can remember. Even when you were a little kid, you were a true rebel. When you grew to be a teenager, you were characterized as a bad boy. You questioned every type of authority and you couldn't stand anyone telling you what to do. Well, not much has changed until today, has it? Do you prefer being alone to being with a bunch of people? If you were given two choices, spending a weekend in a country cabin house all by yourself and your thoughts or Saturday night tickets to the wildest party in the city what would it be? I bet I know the answer. The truth is that you enjoy your own company the most. You'll always pick some time alone over any crowded place. Do you believe in yourself? Some people call you cocky or overconfident but the truth is that you only believe in yourself. Because let's face it, how can you hope to succeed if you're not your own number one fan? Whenever you set your mind to something, you know you'll get it done. You're perfectly aware of your abilities and your confidence is always on point. Besides, who needs humble bragging? Do you pursue personal goals? You have a set of goals you hope to achieve. Actually, you don't only hope you work hard to pursue them. Often, these goals have nothing to do with the people you love. You don't make plans this big with your closest ones. Instead, this is your 5 or 10 year plan. These are your personal goals and you'll be the one enjoying their fruits. Do you function better alone than in a team? Team spirit, teamwork. For you, these are all blabberings. When you're alone you're unstoppable. Most importantly, this is the setting in which you're also the most productive. On the other hand, you don't function very well in a team since there is always someone holding you back. Besides, you're not the biggest fan of compromise either. If you want to become a Sigma, the crucial thing is to stop caring about what others might think. You must stop being a people pleaser and instead, focus on yourself completely. This doesn't include selfishness. Nevertheless, all Sigmas do put themselves first. Despite popular opinion, the truth is that you can work on yourself and reinvent your type of personality. For example, you can be an Omega male but easily transform yourself into a Sigma man, just read these traits and try as hard as possible to adopt them into your own personality. You don't make a big deal about things, Sigmas keep it on the down low too. They don't broadcast their opinions or try to convince anyone they're right. While they have beliefs and principles that work for them, they're always open to change and learning as they go through life. His criteria for any decision is does this make me a better man and improve my life? He's quietly confident and when he does speak, people listen because he knows what he's talking about. You are fine being a lone wolf. All the previous traits culminate in Sigma's biggest advantage over other men, the ability to be the lone wolf. The Sigma male can spend time alone. In fact, he seeks it out because that's when he's most productive and can focus solely on his goals and purpose. He's not perfect. He acknowledges this and he's on a never-ending journey to be the best. Just get on with it. Choose to live a high-quality life, on your own terms. That's the Sigma male. How can you recognize a male Sigma? If you want to determine whether a man belongs to this type, the first thing you should pay close attention to is whether he follows the social norms or does his own thing. You'll recognize the male Sigma by the way he stands out of the crowd, even though he doesn't do it to be noticed. A Sigma is that mysterious guy you know nothing about but yet are incredibly attracted to. In short terms, he is the alpha who refuses to be an alpha. 
He doesn't crave the spotlight but somehow always gets loads of attention. He is secretive, doesn't talk much, and always leaves you wanting more. Have you ever met a guy whose personality can be roughly described this way? In that case, you've got yourself a true Sigma. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe and share it with others. I really do appreciate your support.